guys, this is Paul with RC Foe Fighters. Um, this is a video on a new plane that I've been working on. Um, it's called the uh, FF Supersonic. And it's kind of inspired by, you know, planes kind of like the Concorde and some of the new um, designs coming out, like the Boom uh, Quiet Supersonic plane. You know, I just kind of had an idea of what a modern airliner might look, a supersonic plane. So I just wanted to make one. And this is what I came up with. It's basically a dual motor uh, prop plane right now for this concept. I've got two um, Tiger F40 motors. Um, it's gonna be running on 4S. Um, the props are fairly small. They're uh, five inch, but the pitch I think is, it was 7.5. So they're pretty high pitch. Um, and the motors are rated at, I think was it 1950 KV or something like that. Um, right now I just have Elevon controls, but I do plan on putting a rudder on the plane later after I get a test flown, I just want to you know, kind of do a test flight and see how the flight characteristics are right now. So, you know, building the, the uh, first plane here, I already know I need to probably scale it up a little bit. The battery compartment was a little bit too tight uh, for what I want. Um, I can only really fit one battery that I had, one type. So I'll probably size it up just a little bit, at least the fuselage area, uh, make it a little bit bigger and a little more roomier for the battery. Here's a quick look at the bottom side. I just threw some tape on there real quick, you know, to give some color for uh, help keep orientation when in flight, but it does have like simulated little motor pods on the bottom, you know, and then I am using my 3D printed um, little motor mounts. Um, if you guys do build a plane later when the plans come out, you could probably just improvise to make wooden motor mounts if you don't have a 3D printer. Um, right now I just put some, you know, really basic um, stickers on there or decals that I made. I'll probably improve those, make them a little bit better, but I just threw something on there with a little bit of color on it. So hopefully, again, I can tell orientation when in flight. Okay, guys, I did do some uh, glide tests with the smaller version I made to um, get the approximate CG. And then I built a second plane, you know, before this one. Um, I was almost full size and did some glide tests with that to, again, you know, try and get the CG narrowed down. So hopefully we're pretty close for the maiden flight. Okay guys, let's get everything plugged in and uh, we'll throw it in the air and see if it flies or not. <laughs> Hope it flies good and uh, we can continue on developing this plane. It's made in flight, we've got a pretty good headwind. So this thing works. Whoa. Looks like she's flying. I think I need a little up trim. Yeah, the winds just picked up right before I took off. I need to add a little more color variation <laughs> in the all white plane. Yeah, so the bottom stands out pretty good, but the top is not so good. Uh, yeah, I think I definitely need a lot of up trim put in. Sound like I lost a prop or something. Let me bring it in. Oop, hard landing. Okay.
Okay guys, here's a quick view of the plane. Looks like I snapped a prop in the sky. Um, the prop isn't here where I landed, so I definitely think it came off in the sky because it made a crazy noise. And then it was flying weird, so I brought it in. So unfortunately, I think that'll be the end of the flight video today because I forgot to bring extra props. So anyway, it looks like it's a good starting point, And then uh, we'll move on from here um, to probably revise the plan and make it a little bit better.